Okay guys, so the latest knife out of the man cave. Handmade, handmade leather sheath. Natural tan cowhide, which was dyed, stitched all by myself. I'm pleased with the way it's come out. Got the logo there, pressed in. Let's have a look at the knife. Got a nice positive fit on the wet uh, wet forming on this. So I'm really pleased the way that came out. So this is the knife in question. So we've got RWL34 steel in a, a three mil thickness with the red G10 liners this is a desert ironwood uh, brass pins and a brass lanar tube we've got some jimping up here for some thumb support underneath there we've got a thumb rest there for any other close work you need to do this is to a uh, 59 Rockwell on a, a 22 degree bevel and it's really sharp there's a shame on this uh, timber I can't really get it close enough for you to see it but the figuring in, in the timber is almost like a Damascus pattern it's absolutely beautiful So this was all handmade by myself, heat treated, profiled and um, showing you today how it's, uh, how it's come out. I'm uh, well pleased with it. It's come up. I just can't, I just can't keep looking at the figuring on this uh, desert ironwood. The guy who's getting this knife is going to be really happy with it. So yeah. That is the latest knife out of the man cave. I'm well pleased with it. Thanks for watching guys. And I shall just give this a final polish. Nice positive hold. A final polish. And then it'd be going off to its own new owner. So everybody likes a bit of a paper test. Nice and sharp. Piece of four mil leather. Real easy to go through. It's sharp. So another sharpness test is balancing it on your thumbnail. It's not slipping at all. If it was slipping, then you'd have a dull edge. And then as I pull it through the top of my finger now, you can feel that that is really smooth. Sorry to do this again for the people who are cringing, but that's how I know that this edge is perfectly honed when it just slides through your fingernail like that. It just slips through it. Nice and sharp. Not too sure whether many people like this part, but does it shave? I've got to use my uh, bottom of my glasses to see this. Let's have a look. go 
nice ball patch now. But it shaves. Not sure you want to put it on your chin though. <laughs> this is the final stage of um, the sharpening test, which is a, a small media in the middle, which is like a fishing wire. And we are looking for anything under a hundred grams. So what happens is when the blade cuts through the media, it measures in grams of pressure. So let's see what we got. Oh yes. Well, I'll just switch this round and then I'll uh, show you what we got. There we go, 14 grams of cutting pressure. Well pleased with that.